Sporting complex and the gymnasium that we're in has been used for many sports. World Badminton Championship snooker event, World Cup basketball earlier this year. And it is home for four consecutive years for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. So uh, the first final completed and the world champions winning the title. Can the next world champion, Kento Momota in the men's singles, uh, can he win his second a title at the end of the year championships because he won the title four years ago. He's up against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting in his fifth final of the year, but he's lost his uh, previous four. Now, as far as the draw is concerned, uh, both half of the draws were repeat of the group matches. And Kento Momota, who won Group A, uh, safely through against Wang Su Wei. And Anthony Ginting, who won his group, uh, once again beat the Olympic champion. So the winners of both uh, groups into today's final. And Kento Momota, well, he has an incredible win-loss record throughout his career. Uh, but even more extraordinary is his uh, win-loss record this year. Uh, because so far this year he's played 72 matches and he's only lost six. That really is extraordinary. This is his 11th, his... Uh, 12th final of the year. There he is, Momota. Already won 10 titles. 16th tournament of the year. And he's looking actually a little more nervous than he was yesterday. A beat to Wang Suwei in the first round, then had three games on Thursday against the. Uh, Dane, Anna Zantenson, that was a repeat of the World Championship final. Beat Jonathan Christie, the number three seed, the Asian Games gold medalist, on Friday. And in the semi-final, once again, had to play against Wang Su Wei. And once again, won in two straight games. So, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, who is today contesting his eighth final throughout his career. It's his fifth final this year in his 19th tournament. But he is trying to make history today as the first player from Indonesia to win the men's singles at the end of year championships. On Wednesday, he started with a loss. He lost to the number two seed, Cho Tien Chen, 25-23 in the deciding game. On Thursday, he beat the Olympic champion and two-time former winner of this event, Chen Long, against Victor Axelsson, who himself was a three-time finalist and twice former champion of this event. Axelsson sadly had to retire, so in the semi-final, he once again played Chen Long, the Olympic champion. So the players are just about ready to enter the courts and for Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, not only the chance to make history, but he's only the second player from Indonesia ever to contest a final at the men's singles discipline at the end of season championships. The only previous one was Tommy Sugiato in Kuala Lumpur in 2013. But here comes Kento Momota. The world number one, the two-time world champion. The left-handed world number one won the end of season championships four years ago when the event was staged in Dubai beating Victor Axelsson in the final. He was beaten in the final a year ago by Shi Uchi. So this is his third final in total. His second consecutive here in Guangzhou. The man trying to make history, Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. Four finals this year in Singapore, Australia, the China Super 1000 and in Hong Kong. He lost all finals that he contested so far this year. And yet prior to this year, 
Anthony Ginting had never lost a final. He had been in three finals and won all three finals, the Korean Super Series of 2017. And then last year won the Indonesian Masters 500 and the China Super 1000. Well, this will be a 15th meeting between these two players. And as you can see, Kento Momoto has won 10 of the previous 14. But uh, the last time they met was in the quarterfinal of the French Open. We were there, Morton and I, in Paris at the 750 event, and Ginting won 21-10, 21-19. But I think it's fair to say, Morton, that after uh, winning the previous week, Kento Momoto at the Denmark Open, he was just running out of steam. Yes, he was. He was really, really tired when he came to Paris. Yeah. And that was on the back of some other big wins just prior to that. Well, I was watching an interview with Momota earlier today online and he was saying that he's even surprised himself 10 titles already this year from 11 finals since his return from suspension he was suspended by his own national federation for uh, visiting an illegal casino uh, this is uh, now his 28th final in his 38th tournament since coming back from suspension he has actually come back a far better player than when he left the scene in uh, those uh, sad circumstances uh, for him. But his opponent, Anthony Sinitsuka Ginting, 23 years of age, born in Chimahi, west of Bangdong. One place down uh, from his career high of seven, where he spent 25 weeks across three uh, different spells. But he was the only player who managed to beat Momolta twice last year. And as we saw, he's already beaten him this year. So of all the players that Momolta probably didn't want to play, yes. it's Ginting, because Ginting has a very good record. Yeah, he's got the ability. He's got uh, a lot of things in his toolbox to hurt yeah. Momota. Well, as we look at Klaus Schlieben of Austria, Rampa for this one, and Lorenz Bester from South Africa will be the service judge. I can also tell you that this is a fourth meeting in an individual tournament final. And in finals, the win-loss record, the head-to-head -head record is uh, of the previous three, two to Momolta, one to Ginting. And of course, that one to Ginting was, was the Sugo 1000 China. last year in yeah. China. So, before play gets underway, Morton, perhaps we ought to discuss the fact that Momota won the toss of the coin and chose, chose ends. ends he did and they swapped ends their bags and <laughs> before the warm-up so you obviously think that's significant because he wants to start hitting with the drift so that he's the better end it, he he wants the better end uh, second second in the third game should it go to three should it go to three So the men's singles final gets underway. Just long. Well, not surprisingly, this man finished the year ranked one, not only on the world rankings, but 
on the race to Guangzhou. HSBC standings. First time that he's been ranked number one on that list. a very good start and it's a little bit surprising to me that Momota is on the attack from the beginning One, normally I would have anticipated Ginting to be the one that's going for for the attack and uh, really very quick at the net setting it all up going for his smashes and so on but this second rally here Omoto was going all out in terms of uh, attacking skills. Oh, my goodness. That's terrific. And that's what he did against Chen Long yesterday. He virtually scored at will when it came to his attack. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the indecision is even his backhand corner cost Momota dearly. Five, but what is so impressive about Ginting at the front of the court and at the net is that every single shot he's playing, he's playing with a delay, with a disguise. Yeah. And, and that's really very remarkable. Interesting body smash in these early stages. I think the tactic from uh, Momota is to really go out attacking here in the um, opening game and then revert back to a more safe approach in in the second game should he win this one oh he read that cross court yeah he did but seldom you see momota go on the attack as what he's doing now well left Really didn't seem on balance at all when he played that. Six, five. 
And on top of that, the cross-court smash from the around the head situation from Momote is not his favourite shot. Definitely favours to go down the line in a position like that. Well, it had a little think about it, but decided not to go over. is getting some attention I can give you a little fun fact that I was telling you that Momolta finished the year rank one on the race to Guangzhou standings and he's the fifth different player in five years to do that in the men's singles discipline but it has been five years since the player ranked number one on the race to the end of year championships has actually gone on to win the title and that was Chen Long in 2014 yeah, Chen Long had a fantastic year, 14. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Just emphasises what you were saying, Morton, about yeah. the disguise at the yeah. front. He's got so many options, and he's at the net very, very early. Look at that. But I think Momota has done well in the sense that he has kind of avoided for Ginting to control too much by going in and really taking a lot of initiative in the early stages of this uh, match. Despite that, he is still 8-6 down. Yeah, there was the round-the-head smash straight down the line. So that straight first. down the line. But I think Momota is having immense respect for Ginting in that situation because now the lift is coming the attack down the line and Ginting is normally very good in that situation to get it cross-court drive and I think that's what Momota is fearing he doesn't like right. when that yeah. cross-court is coming on that shot and that's why he's maybe opting to go a little bit more on the cross-court smashes right. fascinating Momota was expecting one back to the net, wasn't he? He was hovering at the net. Yeah, he was. But the, the options for, for Ginting is that flat drive as well. And I, I'm sure that's in the equation for yeah. Momota. Oh, that's two flats, gone long. So too is that. Yeah. 
brilliant. Is that? Oh, it's called good. It's called good. It's called to, me, good. It, to me, it looked out, but uh, good call from the line judge. And the motor was definitely on it, otherwise he would have challenged. Yeah. So. So it's a two-point advantage for Anthony Ginting here at the mid-game interval of the opening game. And Morton, it wouldn't be the same without me asking you a quiz question. No, he won't. <laughs> I'm ready. Are I'm you ready? Getting, I'm not getting it right, but I'm ready. <laughs> if Anthony Ginting goes on to win this, yes. he'll have won the end of season championship without winning a World Tour event all year. All year. There is one player in the men's singles who won the end of season championship without ever winning. It was called the Super Series then, yes. without winning a Super Series title all year. Who was that men's singles player? Oh. Big taxes. Well done. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. In fact, it was his first ever Super Series title. Yeah, okay. And I think it was his sixth or seventh Super Series tournament final. Final and lost them off before then. Yeah. Yeah. So, Anthony Ginting, a precedent has been set. It could happen. Three point advantage. Oh, is that? Just before the mid-game interval, there was a couple of uh, drives that went long of the back line, yes. that one. And I think that that's an indication that maybe Mawalta is a little bit nervous or a little bit rattled. He's worried about this final today. He's definitely worried. And he's on his toes. He's trying his very best. He knows he's up against an opponent that sort of got the, the pin code to beat him. Yeah. Missed another. That's incredible defence, that initial one from Ginting. Uh, he must be the, the quickest uh, men's singles player on the planet for the time being. Yeah. He is so quick on his legs. That's landed well in, my goodness. I've never seen Mamolta with such poor spatial awareness. Yeah, he can only smile at himself. Is that another sign of nerves? Possibly? It, pressure. It's yeah. pressure. Pressure, I think. Yeah. Nice. And I like a lot the way that Momota is putting that one away. You know, a lot of players are opting to go for a crazy wild smash on that last one. This one's coming up here. Look at that. He's just gently putting it away. Yeah. And I like that. That's total control. He's played with that exact same shot, Kinting. Yeah, Momota have to consider whether he's going to lift for uh, Ginting's around the head situation rather than for the forehand, because a lot of winners are coming on that cross court. having a chat to Hendry Saputra this morning in the New Zealand singles coach. Yes. Yeah, he was he was saying to me, I said how well Anthony had yeah, been playing been this week. Yeah. And he said it's all it's all in the head. Yeah. He said 
at this level, it's all in the head. And he said he's, he's good in the head at the moment. Yeah, he, he looks uh, playing with good confidence. I, I still believe that Ginting has got, and now you have to help me a bit, but he's got the highest level of men's singles of all the players. When he's at his best. When he's at his best. But he cannot maintain it yeah. in a tournament, in, in, a, in a match, or even within a game sometimes. Yeah. And as soon as he's dropping, he's making too many easy mistakes. And then he's losing matches we never, ever thought he would lose. I think that's a great summary. So, but he's got that ability when he's playing at the very, very best of his game. No one can follow him. Yeah. Not even Kento Momota. No. But he's only 23, for goodness sake. I mean, he'll probably become uh, more consistent as he gets a little older and a little wiser. Just missed it. Well, he's challenging. Yeah. He's challenging. Either one of the players would have challenged, depending on that position. It was very, very close. Well, as you realise, I thought my instinct was it was just wide, but you're... Are you in a better position than me? I I'm, think in I'm, a, in. I'm in a better position yeah. than you, and I think it's really tight. I wouldn't yeah. like to call this one. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh. And that's why. <laughs> that's why. Oh, an incredible challenge. What an incredible shot. Challenge that as well. Yeah. Well, that was certainly wasn't a million miles away. But what disguise, what deception. And look at the little wry smile from Momota to his coaches. Yeah. Almost saying, Well, I never saw that one coming. Yeah, but that's that's just a, a way of acknowledging, isn't it? Oh, it was just wide. There is a wonderful shot from Ginting. Yeah, I met Ginting at breakfast this morning and just chatted to him for two minutes and uh, he seemed very relaxed. Yeah. Cross-court attempt came from Ginting. He really wanted to go all the way across court on that defensive shot. The pressure was too big. Look at that. It only got to the centre of the court, and that's why uh, Momota was winning that one. But normally, Ginting is able to get it all the way to the forehand side of Momota.
Now Ramota's going to challenge. Yeah. They're playing awfully tight. You don't want to stick your neck out on that one either, do you? It's no, too I think close. I, it's close. I too think close. it's out. <laughs> <laughs> I made it just in time. So that's one challenge left for each of the players. Beats the previous longest rally by one shot. Oh, oh. That's, that's completely wild. That's the first really wild shot from Ginting. And that's not a good sign if you are a fan of Ginting and Indonesian badminton. That's not a good sign. Because of the stage of the match? Yes. That looked a little bit like panic. Well, this next rally will be fascinating. And he refocus. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, oh. I, 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 I cannot believe it. <laughs> an neck cord of a neck cord of a neck cord of a neck cord, <laughs> and then. The attempted kill. Take a look at this. Neck cord. One, How did he get this back? How two. did he get that back? He misses the kill. He misses the kill. Well, that certainly put a smile on the face of Mavota. 17 all. What? The pressure's on Ginty yeah. now. Yeah. Good response. Yeah, this is the situation you, when you play Ginting, you just have to deal with it because you don't want to lift it either, don't yeah. you? So yeah. So you have to take the fight at the front of the court, and sometimes you're just getting caught. Point advantage and two points away from the opening game. Anthony Ginting. Well, it's certainly lived up to expectations so far this final, hasn't it? Oh, yes. Fabulous I'm, match. I'm at the edge of my seat. Yeah, me too. And so is coach Saputra. He's been up and down a few times, <laughs> yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> Not on camera, but I can see from here. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. The short lift at Ginting with superb net play. And his final smash was, I think, about on the doubles line. Watch his feet. In fact, inside the doubles line. That's why he was able to play the winner. A good guess off Momota. He chose yeah. the right side. So, game point opportunities. Three of them for Anthony Ginting.
Mr. Opening game to Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. 21-17. What a thrilling opening game. And in all honesty, given what we were saying about those two rallies when we said the pressure was on, he had yeah. a hideous miss. Yes. And he looked nervous. He responded he, well, as he said. He responded extremely well. He did. 21 So instructions have been given and been understood. Now time to refocus. Well, it's crunch time for Kento Momota. Still looks calm, doesn't he? He said he looked relaxed at breakfast this morning. I wonder what he's feeling inside. I can assure you he's boiling. Yes. Pushed wide. Well, Coach Sapukro, I don't think we'll be happy with that because he spent virtually all of the uh, coaching break there, the two minute timeout in between the first and the second game, discussing the drift and discussing the fact that Momota now will be able to punch his clears, push deep into the uh, back of uh, Ginting's court without the fear of it going long. And therefore, Ginting must take his chances with his attacking play. But I'm interested, Morton, of course, we were able to wow. listen in to what uh, the instructions to Ginting were. If you had been on court side with Momota, what would you have said to Momota? There is Ginting's coach. What, what would you say to have said to Momota? I, I think exactly what uh, Saputo is saying to, to Ginting. There's no doubt that Momota will start making use of the drift of the court, play to the back, have a more patient approach, and um, try to pin Ginting to the back a bit more. And, and I think if I was the coach of Momota, I would say the same. Try to see if we can make use of the drift and keep it in, but keep good, solid length, and really try to pin Ginting on the back get him a little bit away from the front of the court because he's the first game he played really well yeah and it comes back to the situation should uh, Momota win this uh, second game from his favorite side of the court choosing ends could be quite relevant mm. so the toss of the coin and the decision to choose ends could be decisive it could be Well, let's see. It's still early days.
And that's where we had the hesitation. It was yeah. good length. Yeah. Beautiful poise as he lunges forward, hasn't he, Ginting? Yeah, he's, he's just in balance. It, it's uh, two players in, in perfect balance 99% uh, of the time. Yeah, well played, Mamolta. Do you remember you and I having a chat in 2014, Morton, when I'd just come back uh, from the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing. Yes, yes. And I said, there's this young lad from Indonesia called Anthony Ginting. Yes. And in some ways, he looks very much like the former world and Olympic champion, Taufik Hidayat. He's just great to watch, and he's going to be really good. Yep. And you I said, remember. I'm so excited to see this player. And now yep. we're seeing him all the time. Yes. Isn't it terrific? It is. He, he's got the, the trademarks of uh, Taufik Hidayat in terms of uh, technical abilities. Yeah. But he's got an ad added on asset in terms of pace yeah. in, his, in his legs. Yeah. Yeah, he is quicker, and he's, he's a better mover in general than Taufik was. Yes. Again, hesitation. What's that? Well, if Momoto goes on to win this, Morton, it'd be his 11th title of the year. So I was looking yeah. back and seeing what Lee Chong Wei and Lin Dan yeah. did at their best. Lee Chong Wei in 2011 reached 11 finals, but only won seven titles. He did win nine titles in 2010. Oh, well taken. Yeah, quick into the net there. Yes, very quick. And that was his best year as far as titles is concerned. Lindan's best year was in 2007 when he reached eight finals and won eight titles. Yes. So, you know, I know it's very difficult to compare eras, it but is. what Momota has done this year is astonishing. Whether he wins or loses today's final, it's been astonishing. It has. I, I agree with you. More left. Seven, That's a good lift from there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but look at the angle from Ginting. Yeah, super shot from Ginting, that cross-court smash. But you have to admire the lift from Momota. It was all the way to the back line. It was, wasn't it? Off this tight spinning net shot, look yes. at that. 
and look how where the, the feet are all the way at the back. Look at that. Good smash from Ginting. Oh, that's going wide. Yeah. Just feel that the whole momentum has changed. Yeah, some insecurity has crept into the game of Ginting. Yeah. Well, that's put me in my place. There goes my theory. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, a fantastic shot. But he has made more mistakes. Short. Oh, it's gets right. Ah, but it's a good follow-up from Anthony Ginting. He deserved that rally. Yeah, it all started at that shot there, the spinning net shot, setting him up very nicely. Good guess from Momota, a second good guess, actually, but really quick on his feet. Anthony Ginting. Equals the longest rally of the match so far. We have one at 33 shots in the opening game. Oh, just uh, clipping the top of the tape. That spinning net shot from uh, Ginting. Perfection. And that's just shots that you can't do anything about. It was played from quite a distance from the net and still to perfection by Ginting. Oh, there's another. Yeah. Short again. Yeah, Mimosa really has to watch out at the net now. Interesting as well, that final smash, Morton, because up until now, Ginting has been going down the forehand side of Momota and he's been reading it. Yeah. That time, went down his backhand side. So back level. Yeah, good awareness from Ginting. The last four points really play well. Ever since I said the momentum had changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why we've got you here, Morton. No, 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 no. Uh, we, we all get it wrong. We all get it wrong now and again. So five straight points and into the lead. Anthony Ginting. Mamoto's side of the court and on a run of six straight points. Anthony Ginting 
has the advantage, a two-point advantage, as indeed he had in the opening game here at the mid-game interval of the second game. Henry Saputro urging Ginting to be more patient with his play, especially if he's lifting to the back of the court and perhaps try and mix up his attacking play with some body attacks at Momota. See that spinning net shot. Momota really has to consider whether he wants to play the net at the moment because uh, Ginting is just playing one fantastic spinning shot after the next. So if, if I was the coach of uh, Momota, I would definitely advocate him to play what we call long net for a little while, play it into the court and not playing these very short opportunities for Ginting. He's getting there so early and he's really playing them well. So seven straight points now for the Indonesian. Overdone it. Precisely the sort of shot that the coach was talking about. Oh, that's perfection. And it's good that having pushed one long uh, just a couple of rallies ago, that he's readjusted and keeps that one in. You've got the confidence to keep playing it. Yeah. I think that's the importance.
Oh, yes. That's really good play. Outmaneuvered Ginting in that rally, Momota. But what Momota did here, he trusted his defence. Yeah. So he lifted more and trusted the defence and stayed away from the net. That's a good lift. So too is that. Good play by Ginton. Oh, I don't believe it. How on earth did Ginting win that rally? <laughs> uh, that's a smile on both the players' face. That's unbelievable. Look at this defence. What the net boards with a defensive shot that he had no right to get back at all. That's fantastic. I can't help thinking that if it, Ginting is not winning on a day like this, yeah. <laughs> when things like this are really working out for him. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Park Jibon. And Yosuke Nakanishi on the Japanese bench. the pace of this yeah. rally. It's incredible. That could be a costly miss. I like that, though, from Saputro. Yeah, there's a lot of support. Just, yeah, and just a calm smile at his player. Not sort of, oh, you shouldn't have been making that mistake. It yeah, was just. That's a good support. Yeah. Don't want to add on to the pressure when you sit up yeah. behind and, and be the coach. Don't add on to the pressure of your players. It's the variation in the attack, isn't it? 
back to hitting down towards the Momota forehand side. No doubt Ginting is a very good frame of mind. He's in a happy place. He's really controlling his attacks nicely. And as you said, there's a lot of variation to it. Yeah. Was that the backhand shot you were talking about in the opening game, about him wanting to play at cross-court? Yeah, uh, that one and also a more defensive one on the uh, return of um, the smashing. Yeah. Uh, he was very successful against uh, Chen Long yesterday as well, when Chen Long was uh, attacking down the line. He then turned Chen Long with uh, a flat drive cross-court. And he's doing that very good. Not a lot of players can do it, but Ginting is, is really very good doing it. You know how often athletes go through phases where they struggle physically? I think that Ginting, the last two rallies, has looked as, he's, as if he's played a tired-looking shot to me. I'm not saying he's tired overall. No, I don't think he is. But I, to me, those couple of errors just look like a tired shot. Yeah, let's it's got to keep the focus. Yeah. There's okay. another one. Three-point advantage and three points away from forcing a third and deciding game. And we've almost played one hour already. Yes. Well, from 15 all to 19-15, the advantage for Kento Mamolta. But uh, 20 points ago, it was 9-5 for Kento Mamolta, and then uh, Ginting took six in a row to 11-9. So uh, it's still possible. Yeah. That was 20 points ago. It's not often that you see Mamota just left stranded. String gone. Yeah, in the motor's yeah. racket. And uh, hence the high, high left from Ginting. Yeah, he, he heard it too. Yeah, he heard it straight away and reacted very nicely. That was clever. 
good to see. So often you see players missing it. Yeah. And, and doing crazy things. Look at that one. Just, okay, have a go at it. Yeah. So the point, four-point deficit has been halved. Only two points in it now. Pushed it long. It's game point opportunities for the world champion Kento Momolta to level this final at one game apiece. It's one game all. Mirror image of the scoreline in the opening game because both games won and lost to 21 17. Yes, it was clearly in, wasn't it? Was. Crikey, he couldn't have walked over there and placed it in. Oh, thank you for saying that. I feel much better now. One game apiece. Three minutes shy of the hour mark. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Yeah. I think Momota sort of twisted his ankle is, is wrong, but there was just a, a little bit of discomfort yeah. on his left foot. Jarring or something. First uh, smash straight from uh, Kinting here. Just showing uh, what a great variety and technical player he is. Oh. Well, the point has been won by Ginting. That's extraordinary. No fault calls. Yeah, <laughs> both of them smiling. Take a look at this. Nick called from Mamolta. Puts his racket up, gets it in the way, and the shuttle goes over. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is nope. there, Morton? No, nope, nothing. That was according to the rules. But very difficult for Mamolta not to hit the racket in a yeah. situation like that. He did not have many options. go into the bulk of this match as one of the very, very best shots. Yeah. Yeah, good body smash. Henry Saputro was urging him to do that in the second game, Four. use some body attack. Three. Oh, dear me. First service error of the entire match. Better now than on 19 all. Yeah. I love the way you always put a positive swing on things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> net play once again isn't it Morton? it is and that's it, the trademark is it whatever Six, ginting is doing ah. it's, it's all based on how he's able to set himself up around the net mm. 
And Momota must be aware of that and try to, to avoid it to a certain extent. Ginting so quick on his feet. Yeah. Well, this is a good little spell from Anthony Ginting. Again, second time. That reverse, a uh, little bit of slice put on that straight smash. So the movement of the racket head deceives the opponent into thinking it's going to go cross Here court. Comes. Look at that. Yeah. That's uh, fantastic. It's a very good shot. Five straight points from four, five down to nine, five up. Challenge that. It's out. You saw it as clearly out? Yes. And so did Mamota. Yeah, because otherwise he would have challenged. Wow. Yes. Here we go. Oh, yes, you're right, Morton. You're all right. Line judge is right. Everybody's right but me. <laughs> <laughs> in so it's, there's no challenge from either player here uh, the line judge has said unsighted so the umpire has asked Hawkeye to adjudicate for us I think that was that was well played by the line judge it's really close and rather than one of the players is using a challenge on it it was out and therefore Anthony Ginting has the advantage, a six-point advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game on a run of seven straight points from four or five down. What an amazing final this is turning out to be. So the question is whether he's got enough of a lead to hang on, I suppose, because quite clearly both players, as we suspected they would in singles, prefer playing that far side of the court, which yes. is where Mamata can be, and you made the point earlier, a very good point, that he was obviously thinking if it goes to a third game, then I'm going to end at the better end. Yes. But I think it's, it's a big gap. It is a big gap, isn't Six it? Six points wow. is a big gap. Yeah. And uh, if, if Ginting is playing it cool, Play. he's standing a good chance here. Yeah. Six points is a, a massive gap. Yeah. And, and let's say the next three or four points, if it's two or three, one for Ginting, I think the game is over. Wow. Well, his run continues. It's eight straight points now. Well, five. Oh, what a 
offensive shot. But I think there are signs of uh, Ginting getting tired. His follow-up is not as quick as uh, it used to be, and some of the times when he's attacking cross-court, he is hanging a little bit in the corners. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Perfect net shot from the world champion. is trying to tie out Ginty, take the sting out of his smash. Three points in it now. Well, this is five straight points. And all of a sudden, there's a different complexion on this match. Ginting really have to keep his composure now. Yeah. It's utmost important to him. That's out. Six straight points. And just one wow. point the deficit. Going wide. Yeah. Amota is in total control now. Ginting is not able to set himself up for oh. any sort of attacks. Oh. And Mamota is simply moving Ginting around from corner to corner. Playing it extremely safe. He had a ch chance and opportunity where he could have gone for a big smash. He opted for a drop shot and just kept the rally going. Yeah. So seven straight points to draw back level. Well, how desperately Kinting needed that rally to stop the run.
packed crowd in here, the Tian He Gymnasium. Wonderful atmosphere. And there is a lot of support for Ginting. There is, isn't there? Yes. from Mamolka to lunge forward with the racket arm outstretched and take that net shot as early as he possibly could. Yeah, it's coming, uh, this one here. Yeah, look at that. Kinting really have to choose his moments carefully now because I, I, I honestly think that he, he is getting tired and he needs to conserve the energy and use it in the best possible way. Wow. Well, what on earth was that clear across court from Anthony yeah. Ginting? Unless the string is broken, it was uh, an odd shot. Yeah. Far too low. Low and short. Yeah. So Momota in for the lead. Nine of the last ten points. Looking shot to me. Yeah, that was a great chance to take. defence, managed to get his forehand defence just in time. Look at this, look at that. And then gets the net court. Yeah, reminds me of one in the, was it first or second? Was second the game. Same second game. Well, amazing shot. Well, that might just give him the lift that he needs. That is tired. That's a very tired looking shot. Oh goodness, something's floated down yeah. from the ceiling up here onto the uh, back of the court there. That was the shot. Yeah. You've got to admire this man, haven't you? Yes. Kento Momonka. I mean, quite frankly, most players would feel down and out when they were 5 12 down in a deciding game. Not Mamolta. He digs deep. And he produces his best. And he has. I think there's a cramp on this way. Oh dear. 
But he wants his uh, shoelaces to be tied. Yeah. Uh, well, he's called for the doctor. doctor. Well, it has been a long, grueling match, an hour and 19 minutes already. But he was beginning to struggle physically, wasn't he? He was looking very tired indeed. Referee Pinchel Stoyanov coming on to court. And I can't see at the moment which of the two uh, tournament doctors it is, Suraj Strasser, or whether it is Imran Ali from Bangladesh. Do you know, Morton? No, I must admit I don't. No. Is it blisters, I wonder? Uh, on the big toe, I think. Not an injury that's going to stop him from continuing, and it's from his perspective. Well, he was beginning to struggle, looked as if he was out of puff, not moving as quickly, and it could have been the injury or the blister, whatever it is. Or it could have been. And he just needed in a moment to regroup, get his breath back. Not bleeding? Before this happened, I think a, a minute before that, I thought maybe it's time for uh, Ginting to, to take a tactical challenge. But I can't remember how many challenges they've got left in the third game here. They've both got two each. They've both got two, so I N thought no, maybe, yep, maybe it was time for him yeah. to take that. Yeah. So in other words, you feel that he just needed to regroup whatever way he could. Exactly. It's a fine line, isn't it, between gamesmanship and it's using the rules to your advantage. Exactly. It's a very, very fine line. But, you yeah. know, there are plenty of shots that you could, yeah. you could challenge with, yeah. uh, with decency. Yeah. But the fact is that Momota has won 12 of the last 14 points. I think we can safely say the momentum is with Momolta. Yeah. Ginting, sadly, is a spent force. But you've got to credit Mamolta for achieving that. He's moved him, he's, he's pushed him, he's stuck in the rallies. He's done really well, Mamolta. It's, it's so far been a fantastic match to watch. Yeah. Seems to just got everything in it. And it looks like Momota did the right thing when he had the, the choice and he opted to, to choose ends yeah. at the toss of the coin. Yeah, indeed. Brilliant. Wow. Well, it's match point opportunities for Kento Momolta, having been 5 12 down. 15 of the last 17 points.
has done it. 16 of the last 18 points. And Kento Momota, the world number one, the world champion, wins his second end of year championship against Anthony Ginting. Great sportsmanship between the two players. Played in great spirit. And we witnessed some great badminton too. He was beaten in the final a year ago, was Kento Momota, losing out to Shi Uchi, having won the title four years ago in Dubai, beating Victor Axelsson. This is the moment of victory. And incredibly, his 16th point in the last 18 rallies played from that 5-12 deficit. What an extraordinary performance from Kento Momalta. There is confirmation of the score coming from a game down, 17-21, 21-17, 21-14 in the deciding game in an hour and 26 minutes. Morton, that was extraordinary. It was, it was a very good match to watch. I, I hope everyone who was with us here have enjoyed it just as much as uh, I or we have. I think uh, you have to spare thought for Anthony Ginting because the way he played this match, I think he played so well. Eventually he ran out of steam, but until then he was playing magnificent shots. Yes, well, this also, I think, has got to go down as one of the most outstanding years in the history of our sport in the men's singles discipline for the man we're looking at. Yeah. Because uh, this, his 11th title of uh, the year in his 12th final in only his 16th tournament of yeah. the year. That's just extraordinary. No other player. We've talked about Lindan, we've talked about... Lee Chong Wei and the years they've had, they haven't come close to this. No, 11 tournaments or 11 wins in one year is extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. But you're right, I think we have to spare a thought for Anthony Ginting. Fifth final of the year, fifth loss of the year. And when you think how he lost in the final of the Hong Kong Open when he was faulted at match point. And of course, we had the uh, advantage of seeing it again, which the umpire doesn't have. He's got to make a split second decision. But we could see afterwards that it probably wasn't a right decision. No, no it wasn't. So he's had a tough yeah. year, but perhaps that makes him a better, stronger character for the Olympics for, for next the year. years to come. Yeah. I, I think so too. I think he will make him stronger. We will see Anthony Ginting coming out in the years and uh, everything that he's doing, I think he's getting better and better. Yeah, I agree. Well, he looks a little drained right now, doesn't he? Kento Momota, as we prepare for the prize presentation. step forward for the prize presentation. They've given us a treat today. That was a magnificent final. Played in great spirit uh, for Anthony Sinisulka Ginting. A fifth time this year that he's had to settle for second best. Third time this year that he's been beaten by Mamolta in a final. But for Kento Momolta, an extraordinary year is topped off with a win here at the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. The biggest prize money event in the history of badminton. Paul Eric Hoya Larson, president of the Badminton World Federation and IOC member, former 
former Olympic champion in the men's singles himself. The gold medal for an 11th time this year to Kento Momota. And for Anthony Ginting, well, there's no doubting his quality as a player, and he will be back, there's no doubt about that. career title for Momolta in his 35th final. He's got an incredible record in finals. The trophy presented by Mr. Richard Lee, executive by vice president and head of retail bank wealth management, HSBC China, presenting the wonderful trophies. And this Lin Yang Fen, Deputy Director, Wong Chow Sports Bureau, presenting the mascots. Well, even before these World Tour finals, you couldn't have given the Male Player of the Year to anybody else other than Momoto, could no, you? No, no, you couldn't. And uh, I think he did the right thing winning this one as well, just yeah. showing that he was worth it. Absolutely. We should also mention that he will take home a cheque for 120,000 US dollars. Anthony Ginting, half that sum. <laughs> Paul Eric, Hoya Larson, so tall. Just doing a little knees bend so that the photographers can see the two players. Yeah, not the tallest of athletes. <laughs> no. But the best of athletes. Yes. And the best star sport has to offer. Isn't it just wonderful uh, to see a final of this magnitude being played with such skill and in such good spirits? Great sportsmanship displayed by both men. They have been a credit to our sport. So, two finals completed. Oh, there's a Japanese flag flying there. And we've still got another three finals to come. Well, quite frankly, if our remaining finals are half as good as this men's singles has been, we are in for a real treat. Our next final is a women's doubles and it features the world champions Matsumoto and Nagahara up against the current world number ones the winners of this event three years ago Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yifan.